morning dear students in today's lecture we will see formation of partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function in the previous lecture we have seen the problems based on formation of partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants so arbitrary constants like uh, a b c whatever uh, is there the arbitrary uh, constants we have eliminated and we have seen the examples based on that in today's lecture here given z is a function of two arbitrary function we have to find partial derivative up to second order and use the necessary partial derivatives for the second order to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function so here so remember we uh, if one function is there we need to apply only the first order partial derivative if two functions are there then two or more functions then we need to apply a uh, second or higher order partial derivative to complete the problem or means i can say that to complete the uh, to eliminate the arbitrary function so we know that uh, dou z by dou x is uh, notationally denoted as p dou z by dou y as q dou square z upon dou x square as r dou square z upon dou x into dou y or dou y into dou x both any one uh, situation is going to consider as s and dou square z upon dou y square as t so by using this uh, basic information of partial derivative we'll see the examples based on formation of Uh, partial uh, differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary functions now now problems on eliminating the arbitrary functions so question is form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function of the equation z is equal to x plus y into phi of bracket x square minus y square so this is a equation having two independent variable x and y and one function so we need to eliminate this function phi of x so that we will get a partial derivative now the given question uh, equation is z is equal to x plus y of uh, phi of x into uh, phi of x of x square minus y square give equation number 1 now differentiating differentiating one partially with respect to x and y this equation so differentiation of this that is do z by do x which is notationally i will consider as p is equal to right hand side we have two brackets means here it is a product of two functions but both the functions having x and y so in such situation we need to apply product formula so i will keep x plus y bracket as it is so partial derivative of the second function is phi dash of x square minus y square into partial derivative of this bracket is what here 2x with respect to x because y square is 0 i am not mentioning here next plus keep phi of x square minus y square as it is differentiation of x plus y with respect to x partial is what here one so on simplification p is equal to x plus y phi dash of x square minus y square into 2x plus phi of x square minus y square into 1 is 1 or or p is equal to i'll write 2x before here into x plus y phi dash of x square minus y square plus this phi of x square minus y square according to equation number 1 according to equation number 1 phi of x square minus y square is nothing but you cross multiply x plus y to the left hand side it will become z upon x plus y so in place of phi of x square minus y square i will write z divided by x plus y so this i got so cross multiplying this to the left hand side it will become z upon x plus y which is the value of phi of x plus y so just i will for 
understanding purpose i will just mention this is from one so therefore or this z upon z uh, z upon x plus y you shift to the left hand side as p minus z divided by x plus y is equal to 2x into x plus y of phi dash of x square minus y square this i will give as equation number 2 similarly we need to work out for uh, with respect to y so equation number 1 you have to differentiate partially with respect to y so it will become and do z upon equation is what here do z this one we need to do z upon do y which is notationally called q is nothing but keep the bracket x plus y as it is phi of x square minus y square you differentiate partially with respect to y it will become phi dash of x square minus y square into partial derivative of this bracket is uh, x square is 0 y square is minus 2y plus keep phi of x square minus y square as it is so differentiation of x plus y partially with respect to y is 1 on simplification q is equal to q is equal to this minus 2y you write before x plus y phi dash of x square minus y square plus this uh, phi into x square minus y square into 1 is phi of x square minus y square and from equation number 1 this is z divided by x plus y or you shift this z upon x plus y to the left hand side it will become q minus z upon x plus y is equal to minus 2y into x plus y phi dash of x square minus y square. So this is your equation number 3. You observe equation number 2 and 3. So you will find that right hand side you, we have only one term that is 2x x plus y phi dash of x square minus y square. So this if equation 2 divided by 3 will get a, a result. So which is nothing but so from 2 and 3 equation 2 and 3. So divide. 2 and 3 so on dividing 2 and 3 what we will get so what is 2 left hand side of 2 left hand side of 2 is p minus z divided by x plus y whole divided by left hand side of q, uh, equation 3 that is q minus z divided by x plus y which is equal to main division right hand side of your equation 2 that is 2x x plus y phi dash of x square minus y square divided by minus 2y x plus y phi dash of x square minus y square so we'll simplify this and we'll see that whether the given function phi is going to eliminate or not so 2 2 o 2 cancel this y as it is this bracket x plus y x plus y cancels and this phi dash of phi dash are going to be cancelled so therefore so left hand side here you take the lcm is x plus y is the lcm so cross multiply p into x plus y minus z and here also lcm is x plus y is the LCM cross multiply q into x plus y minus z is equal to it will be here cancelled we left this minus sign x upon y cross multiply so here this x plus y x plus y cancels so we have left with 
with cross multiplication of this p of x plus y minus z of y is equal to this minus x bracket of cross multiply q of x plus y minus z so open the bracket so on opening the bracket we'll get it as y into p of x plus y minus z y is equal to minus q uh, x into q of x plus y minus minus plus x z you make a rearrangement y into p of x plus y minus z y take inside so minus times x q of x plus y will become plus x q of x plus y and this if you shift it to minus x z equal to 0 or y p x plus y plus x q of x plus y among these two you take minus sign common and z common what left here will get as x plus y equal to 0 so we can see here we have three terms in all three terms we have x plus y which is a common so i will keep x plus y as a common what left inside py plus qx minus z equal to 0 or so this x plus y equate to 0 is you leave it and you take only py plus qx minus z equal to 0 or 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 we can write py plus qx is equal to z is the required pde so we you reject this x plus y equal to 0 because it is meaningless we cannot get a partial derivative it has only a variable x and y so here p is belongs to what here so this is also p is nothing but what here y as it is p is nothing but dou z by dou x x into q is nothing but dou z by dou y is equal to z so either you can write this way or you can finish it here but x plus y equal to 0 which one we are going to reject but the second bracket py plus qx minus z equal to 0 which is nothing but having what here partial derivatives so therefore it is a partial uh, derivative equation uh, of the given equation z is equal to x plus y into phi of x square minus y square